Welcome to the tutorial video for the pre-algebra online course and the virtual lab for probability and statistics. The purpose of this video is to offer you tips and guidance so that you may successfully complete the virtual lab assignment and successfully navigate the link right here, nctm.org. NCTM stands for National Key Council of Teachers of Mathematics. We'll also talk about how you can complete the lab sheet. The description uh, talks about the objective, and the objective of this lab is to use a spinner to find the probability of odds for various numbers of sections and colors. You also have pre-lab questions here before you start your procedure. The purpose of the pre-lab questions is to kind of get you thinking about probability and uh, kind of act as a warm-up. I'm going to read the four parts of the procedure first and then demonstrate each part. So number one, you want to do click this link up here. Number two, you want to use the left and right arrow buttons below the spinner and create a spinner that is fair for four different colors. Spin it 20 times and record the results. Number three, you can use those same arrow buttons below the spinner and create a spinner that is fair for five different colors. Spin that 20 times and record the results. Number four, you're going to use five different colors. Choose one color and try to make it more likely that you will spin that color. Hint, you want to drag one of those these icons right here that changes the size of the sector. So you want to make it in such a way that one color will come out more likely than the others. Test that spinner 20 times and record the results. Scrolling on down under calculations, you're going to record your results here. So see right here it says step number two results. So for step number two up here, the results you get for uh, dividing a spinner with four equal sections will go right here. Step three will go down here. Okay, when you divide the spinner up into five equal sections, you'll record those results here. And keep in mind, you have two questions under each one for both uh, step two and step three. Step four is where you're going to change the size of the sector to make it so that one color comes out more often than others. And again, you will record your results here. Scrolling on down, we have some conclusion questions that you will also answer after you complete the experiment on the website. There are six questions in all. So now let's go back to the top of the lab sheet and let's take a look at the website and get started. So this is what the NCTM website looks like when you first get on. This activity is called the adjustable spinner. Uh, here's the activity itself. Uh, we have number of spins. Uh, when you log on, it's going to say zero. Uh, this is the spin button, skip to the end and reset. Here's the different colors. Right now it's set for six different sectors and it will keep track of your count, your experimental probability, and with six sectors, each the theoretical is that each one would come up equally likely 16.7% of the time. Down here we have this button. Right now I'm on percent. If I want to see the results in terms of a pie chart, I can click on this icon on the right. And as I spin, it will show a pie chart. So I have a graphical representation of how many times each color comes up. I'm going to keep it on that just for a second. Continuing on, down here we have instructions. Um, if you want to read the instructions without the video or you forget something, these instructions are pretty helpful here. It talks about the arrows uh, that change the number of sectors. Uh, the movement icon changes the size of the sector. That's these icons right here. Uh, you can also change the name of each sector by clicking on the text underneath the column where it says color. And you can click on the pie button to see the experimental graph. It's interesting to leave this open as you continue to spin the spinner because a pie graph will automatically be updated with each spin. We also have exploration sections. If you are an educator and you want to use this for your student and extend this on to other activities beyond the virtual lab, you have some suggestions here. And also for educators, we have the NCTM standards below for the different uh, whatever grade level you're teaching or whatever is appropriate to your situation. I'm now going to go back up to the top and we'll explore this a little bit. So uh, the procedures, the second step says use the left and right arrows 
below to create a spinner that is fair for four different colors and spin it 20 times. So I'm going to use this left arrow here and make it so that it says number of sectors is four and it automatically has four equal sections. And I'm going to set, I'm going to click spin and you'll see an error message when I hit spin. Okay, you have to type in a number first. So I'm going to type in 20 because that's what's suggested on the uh, virtual lab. Now I can hit spin. And the first spin is, it spins automatically. I'm not doing anything. It's just automatically going every couple seconds. It spins 20 times. So, so far you can see we've had three spins. It keeps track of the spins right here, number of spins so far. And the pie graph talks about how many sectors I have. You can see that uh, spin is jumping right along. So I'm going to click, stick, skip to the end and automatically jumps to 20 spins for me. If I want to see the percentages, I go down here to the bottom of the screen, click on the percent button, and now it shows the theoretical probability on the far right, and in the column immediately to the left of it, it shows the experimental percentages. Okay, so they're pretty close to what the experiment we expected, 25%. Now we want to transfer this over to the lab sheet. So this information here is going to go over here to the lab sheet. So down here I put down the colors and the number of times it was spun. Okay, so number of times spun would be count right here. Okay, so I put that there. Now as far as transferring this, there's a couple options you have. You can take a screenshot and replace this circle with your screenshot. Another option you have is you can go to your draw feature right here. Click on draw, and I can uh, draw a line. I'm not really good at drawing straight lines, so that doesn't work for me very well. But I could draw lines through there. Let me hit undo. Because another thing I can do is I can click insert, go to shapes, and select a straight line. And draw a line right across using the insert tool. And again, I can draw to make the sectors match what was on the screen. Another option is that some students will hand draw the sectors and color them in themselves. All right, let's talk about the next uh, step for step number three. So I'm going to go back to the website. And I'm going to hit reset. So I click reset. And step number three says using the left and right arrow buttons below the spinner, Create a spinner that is fair for five different colors. Spin it 20 times and record the result. So I go here, I click the arrow, so I, it now says five, and I go ahead and spin it 20 times. And again, it's going to spin 20 times and show me what the results look like each time. Okay? When I finish that, uh, I'm going to again record the results on the lab sheet for step number three down here. Okay, repeating the same process. And don't forget, there's two additional questions under each step. For step four, what step four says, uh, we're going to use the five different colors, but this time we're going to choose one color and try to make it so that it, it is more likely that that color will come up more often than the others and test the spinner 20 times. So going back to the website, and by the way, the spinner's been spinning the entire time, so I'm going to click skip to the end. And there we go. So I would transfer these numbers over to the virtual lab. Of course, your numbers will be different. I click reset. And we're going to stay on the five sectors. But I'm going to grab one of these tabs. And I can move the tab to make it so that sector changes size. And this is up to you. Okay, However you want to change this around and make it so the tabs change size. That's completely up to you. But you're going to change it in such a way so that one color comes up more often than not. And that's the purpose of step number four. And again, you would record your results right here at step number four. And then again, at the very end, you have your six conclusion questions. So that is a brief tutorial with some tips and pointers so that you can successfully complete this virtual lab and navigate through the website.